We're going to step back into KTVA 11's Weather Lab today. We're going to check in with Melissa Fry, who's outside Huffman Elementary School, making the rounds again. Good morning, Melissa. <laughs> Hey, good morning, James and Megan. Check out the ice rink that they have behind me. These are third graders. Let's just pop in and see what they're up to here. <gasps> Hello, Miss Sterling's class. Hi. Do you guys want to learn a little bit about weather coming up here in a few minutes? Yeah. Awesome. It looks like you guys are maybe even working on some weather right now. I see some cloud types out there. All right, we'll keep working and I'll see you guys in about 15 minutes, okay? Okay. Oh, they're such nice students. <laughs> My puzzle is not complete. I'm still missing some pieces. I really need data from this instrument. Do you guys know what this instrument is called? A satellite. Good job, a satellite. And what does a satellite tell us? It can show like anything in the world on Earth. It okay. can show you the weather. What is on this picture that I care about as a meteorologist? The clouds. Now, your teachers told me that you guys have been learning all about clouds. Is that true? Yeah. So on this map, there are cirrus clouds, there are stratus clouds, there are cumulus clouds, there's even some cumulonimbus clouds. Tommy is going to point out where are the stratus clouds. Stratus? Um, right here. Yes. Do you guys think that cloud is going to go to California next? No. Do you think it's going to go to Hawaii next? No. So that's another clue to my puzzle. And if I see that, I better start paying very close attention to what's happening with the weather.